issue the helping verb so what is all about helping verb helping verbs are called actually auxiliary verb auxiliary verbs are used to make the sentence in a different format when we are changing the tense from present to past to future we need some verbs not only with the main verb we need some extra verb and those verbs change the sentence change the meaning of the sentence agar hum ye kehna hai ki main khana khati hu to main ye bolungi ki main i eat rice okay par agar mujhe ye kehna hai ki main abhi khana kha rahi hu i am eating rice eating word ke sath mujhe am ek extra word use karna hoga ye am kaun hai this am is called auxiliary verb or helping verb ये एम यहाँ क्या कर रहा है मेन वर्ब इट वर्ड को हेल्प कर रहा है सेंटेंस को चेंज करने में सिंपल प्रेजेंटेंस के बाद को प्रेजेंट कॉन्टिन्यूस टेंस में अगर बदलना है तो वी नीड सम हेल्पिंग वर्ब सो लाइक दैट वी न्यू नीड और यूज द हेल्पिंग वर्ब इन ग्रामर और इन लैंग्वेज ओके सो द मेन वर्ब एंड एट द सेम टाइम द हेल्पिंग वर्ब बोथ आर नेसेसरी बोथ आर इम्पॉर्टेंट Okay, so let's have a look on the blackboard. What I have written about the helping verb. H V helping verb. We have to add in passive voice. In passive voice, we have to add these B verbs. B verb. If we are talking about present tense, if we are talking about simple present, present continuous tense, or uh, this uh, two tenses. we need these two b verbs which one am is are okay and if we have to change the sentence in past tense from simple past tense and uh, past continuous tense to active voice from active voice to passive voice we need these b verbs which one was and were in past tense but in future tense if we want to change from active to passive from simple present tense in simple present tense we want to change the sentence from active to passive we need shall be and will be shall be and will be in future tense so what i have said the b verbs those are used in passive voice in present future and past those are am is are in present was were in past and shall be and will be in future okay so in the passive voice only we need these verbs okay so now i will teach you the have verb those are used in voice change in passive voice okay now students i will teach you helping verb but the have verb helping verb we have two types of be verb and have verb both are called helping verbs we have a great uh, many categories of helping verb be verb have verb may verb too many we have 24 auxiliary verbs but in passive we need have verb and be verb so only those auxiliary verbs or helping verbs i am telling you on the blackboard so first i have taught you be verb and now this time i will teach you have verb in present past and future okay so let's have a look have verb in passive voice we have to add have or has in present tense have verb had in past tense and shall and will have in future tense so what i have said have verb in present we use has or have to singular subject we use has Uh, like uh, third person singular number we use has and with first form of the verb and the second form of the verb we use with the plural also we use have verb and in the past tense we use had and in future we use will or shall have okay so you should have these things in your mind that what are the be verbs and what are the have verbs i think you will have a clear idea now and you will not any mistake in this part now in the next part i will teach you 
how to change in simple present tense the active voice to passive. Okay. Now I will teach you how to change the active to passive. But before that, you should have a clear idea about tense. We have different kinds of tense. There are three types of tense. First, present. Second, past. And the other is uh, future. In the present part, we have four categories or four classifications. The first one is simple present tense, present continuous, present perfect and present perfect continuous tense. But we are practicing passive or the voice change. In the voice change part, we need out of four, we need first three. Simple present tense, present continuous tense, present perfect tense. But the fourth one, we don't need. Why? Because in this type of sentence, in present perfect continuous tense, we cannot change the sentence from active to passive. Okay, so for that reason, we have only three. The first three, simple present tense, present continuous tense and present perfect tense. And now I will teach you how to change the active voice to passive or the passive to active in simple present tense. Okay, now I will teach you in simple present tense how to change the active to passive voice. First, we need to change the active to passive, the be verb and verb. So what we need, let's have a look at the blackboard. First, we need be verb and is are. And if we have the part one, we need third form of the verb in simple present tense. Okay? Generally, in simple present tense, we use third form of the verb. Sorry, we need the first form of the verb with S or ES. If we have first, uh, first person, second person as subject and the plural as subject, we write the first form of the verb. And if we have the subject as third person singular number, we write the verb one or first form of the verb with S or ES. So, I have written one sentence on the blackboard. Let's have a look. Mayank plays cricket. Mayank, third person singular. That's why I have written with part one, S. Okay. So now, I have to change this active voice. Why I am telling you that this is active voice? Because here, the person, Mayank, himself, he, himself plays cricket. That's why the person himself is the doer is the, of the sentence. That's why the sentence is called active voice. Okay? And now I will change this active to passive. How? We need two things or two uh, that I have written on the blackboard. Be verb and part one to change to P3. So, how I will write down the sentence? First, I have to write down the object, the verb and subject. The object will be the subject when I am changing the sentence from active to passive. So, it is active. Here, subject is my own, But now I am writing the passive voice. So that I have written the object as subject. The first rule I have said or I have taught you the five steps change of the subject to object, but object to subject. So I am writing here the object one to subject. Yaha object subject ban chuka hai. Aisa humne pehle bhi sikha hai ki humare first step mein ye tha ki humne change karna hai. So I have changed. Now to the verb part, what I have to do? Part one will change into part three. So now you can see here that place has become played. Place, I have written in the form of verb three, played. And with this main verb, I have used auxiliary verb or helping verb, HV. As I have said before, HV is needed with MP. So I have written here, played as MP and 
helping verb as is. It is already taught to you as am, is, are. Is, are, helping verb and this should be added to the active voice. From active voice to passive, we need these three verbs. Okay? And now, in the five steps, I have taught you that I or we need by preposition before S means before subject. So, this is the format as I have written that now the active has changed into passive. How? My plays cricket. I have written by changing the sentence cricket is played by my. Now, here, my. क्रिकेट खेलता है और क्रिकेट खेला जाता है मैं के द्वारा बात एक ही है लेकिन थोड़ा सा सेंटेंस को हमने चेंज कर दिया है जब हम पैसिव में चेंज करते हैं मयन क्या खेलता है क्रिकेट उसी क्रिकेट को हमने सबसे पहले लिखा है इसका मतलब हमने ऑब्जेक्ट को सब्जेक्ट और सब्जेक्ट को ऑब्जेक्ट चेंज करके एक वॉइस चेंज किया है ना स्टूडेंट्स आई विल टीच यू द वॉइस चेंज इन प्रेजेंट कॉन्टिन्यूस टेंस In present continuous tense, when we have an active voice, we change it into passive voice, but we need some helping verb and we need always the verb Y will change into verb 3. So, in the verb part, we no need to change, just we have to make it the V3 or third form of the verb we have to write out. But the most important thing is helping verb. So, Let's have a look on the blackboard. What helping verb is used in present continuous tense? Always you remember about the one thing only that is helping verb in passive. Okay? So let's have a look on the blackboard. Here, B verb is used. The B verb which are used in passive voice but in present continuous tense and is a with along with being. It is another be verb. It is used in present continuous tense. And in the verb part, if we have present participle P1 ing, we have to write down verb 3, third form of the verb. Okay? And now I have one example here. She is writing a letter. Here, she is the subject because she, the girl or the female is writing a letter. She herself is doing the work or the subject is, subject of the sentence is doing the action. That's why this sentence is called active voice. And now we are changing this active to passive. How? We should first bring the be verb. And is that? and B. First we have to choose which B verb I will use. With she. I have to choose among three. I have to choose is. So I have written here is and I have to write down B. So the format is is B. And I have to write down and uh, you always remember that verb. The verb one is here right. In place of write, I have to or you have to write down written. Verb 3, third form of the verb. And the rule I have told you before, by the preposition is used. And in other, the she will change into objective form her. So now like this, here is also the subject has transformed into object. And this object has transformed into subject. So, I'm making the arrow as I have done it before. So, like that here, it is subject. Now, it has become object. Now, here it is object. It has become a subject. So, like that, every time we have to change the active to passive with some simple rules, but we should focus on helping verb. And in this part, we need the helping verb and is our and be. Okay, so in the next part I will tell you or I will teach you present perfect tense. Okay.